All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you will want is to go in your other template. And then, of course, you will just be creating your other as you normally would. So what I will do here is simply add my uh, logo. And then you will be adding uh, the icon that will serve as the trigger for the navigation section. So I think it has one that's called bars. Here it is. Let's add this. Let's just make it uh, black. Okay. And then under uh, positioning, let's make the width in line, and then finally let's just set this column to space between. Okay, so that's one way. You already know how to make a header anyway, so it's not a problem. The important thing is to give this navigation icon the class nav icon. This is uh, very important. All right, and finally, maybe we will want a little bit of a shadow uh, under the... All right, so now what you would want to do is to add the section that will be the, navi the, the navigation section. So to column layout, in the section setting, you will want to make it full. The content uh, full, column gap, no gap, 8, min 8, 100, view 8. Content position, uh, column position stretch and vertical align to middle. And after all of this is done, under style, we'll give it a background color of uh, black. And then the ID needs to be nav section. So here we are using the ID and not the class. For the icon, we use the class. And this is uh, important. All right. Now in the left column, we'll be giving it uh, a background image. So let's just use my photography background image okay. all right let's set it to center center no repeat cover perfect and then on the right we'll add the navigation this and then we'll place it vertical I will not care too much about everything else except removing the breakpoint because we want it to show always. Let's uh, make it white. This and then we also need to have the close icon. So let's add this now. Let's add it above. Okay, let's just use this one. You can change it to any icon you want anyway, so it's not too much of a problem. Uh, let's make it white. Uh, and then let's place it in, in line. Well, first, let's give it the class nav icon as well. And positioning uh, with in line. Position absolute to the right. And then let's add 30 pixels padding. Okay, that's perfect. Now we can add some social media icons. And we will also be adding some uh, left padding. Here. Push it a little bit more. Let's adjust this, these to fit with this uh, left padding. 40. Okay, that's perfect. 
And finally, let's go under the section, under responsive, let's uh, reverse the columns on mobile. That will be needed. All right, and now I think we have everything we need for this quick example. So let's add the HTML element. Uh, add it in this empty column. Okay. And then you will just want to copy paste all the code that you will get from my article. So just copy paste all of it here. And you see right away uh, everything happens. So let's just preview this on the front end and see what we have so far. All right, looks good. And now if I click on the nav icon, uh, everything seems to work perfectly fine. If I click on the close icon, it works fine as well. So that seems to be working fine. Now let me show you a few uh, other things. Well, one important thing I forgot, and actually it will be relevant to what I need to show you, is uh, how you edit it. Now that the code is added, you don't see anything. So the easiest way to edit it is to simply uh, delete this style tag temporarily. So you just like remove it completely temporarily. And now it comes back. You can ignore the code that we now see on the left. And, uh, and, and now you can like edit uh, 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 the, the section uh, as if it was a normal section. So one thing I forgot is to add some background color. Here. Let's add it. This is on the right column. Let's add it to uh, to be red. Now I updated, of course, but I should not update without this. All right, so let's look now. And it works beautifully. And uh, let's have a look on mobile, what it looks like. So let's say fit to window. And we have this fancy animation. I will scroll down a bit to remove the WordPress header. So we have this uh, fancy animation on mobile. It looks pretty neat. And I also added a few other variations just in case you wanted something uh, different. So if you want a single panel on mobile, you will want to use this code here. So now it's commented out with these symbols. But let's say you wanted to use it, you would simply uh, remove this commenting out. Maybe you add it here just um, around the comment. But then the code will be active now. And uh, you will also want to delete pretty much everything that comes after. And then let's update and let's see what this single panel preview looks like on mobile. So this is a single panel version for mobile. And you see now it's like only a panel. So if you are like more content in your navigation, you will probably want to use this one. And uh, on desktop, it's still the same. No, no changes there because of course we have a lot more uh, room to play with. Uh, let's have a look at, um, let me actually go back commenting this out. And now let's have a look at this variation A. It's the same. Uh, this is with two sections, but it's more subtle. So let's remove this one A. And let me show you now. The difference is only on mobile. There is some overflow for some reason. Uh, I think it's only a temporary bug. I don't think there is really any uh, overflow. And there it is. So. Yeah. So this is the difference. So you see like the animation, the first section comes from above. This one comes from below. And then if I go back to what we had just before, Let's go back here. 
it's update and now we will have the more fancy animations uh, the more fancy animation on mobile where the top section comes from below and the uh, the section with the image comes from above so yeah that's quite quite a nice uh, quite a nice animation all right so uh, that's all there is to this uh, thanks for watching and let, let me know if you liked it